Milwaukee Tool, a lot of people know them as Milwaukee IA. They finally released a tool that I brought to this channel almost a year ago. We got to use it hands-on. The thing was super powerful, but there were some gripes that a lot of viewers had about the tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this video. I'm going to show you the tool that we're talking about. And then I'm going to talk about all the things that I really like about it. And we'll talk about some of the things that a lot of the viewers did not like about it. Now, I have a video here. And what I am very happy about, thank you. Milwaukee IA tool for doing. I had done called out Milwaukee tool about playing this cheesy rock music in the back of their videos. What they did though, this time when they sent over the press release, is they sent over the video, then they sent over the cheesy rock music that I could add to it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. But they sent over the actual audio tape of them just talking. So now I can actually play this video for you. And if you haven't seen me calling out Milwaukee IA tool and I challenged them, Check out the video at the end of this video. You're gonna like it, but let's take a listen to this video now without the cheesy rock music, and now we can hear what the users are saying. Having the tool on hand and ready to go when you need it is a big advantage. With the battery equipment, it's get it in, get out, get it done, move on to your next task. Some of these gas blowers on a colder day, you have to play with the choke, you have to play with the prime ball. You have to fill it with gas. I mean, you just throw a battery in it, you press the trigger, and you can start walking. Going from gas to M18 battery, that's gonna eliminate noise dramatically. This thing, as soon as you pull the trigger, it's quiet. It's powerful, it's awesome. They're comparable to everything we're using in terms of weight, in terms of power, and they're easier to use. With the blowers, you want the quick response, you want the power from the get-go. You want to start pushing material out. The blower starts itself instantly, you have full power in under a second. If something's comfortable and it fits you right, you're going to love it. You're going to be more productive with it. Your back feels better, you're not going to be as sore at night. Your hand's going to be more comfortable, you're going to have less likelihood of getting carpal tunnel. The mode select is awesome. It's faster. You can choose the settings, how fast you want it. The tools that we have at our disposal are what allow us to do our job. And the usability and the engagement with us as a contractor to help us do our job, couldn't ask for a better partner. In all my years in the landscape industry, I never thought I would want to go away from a gasoline-powered engine. And Milwaukee Tool pulled it off. I don't want to use my gas backpack blower any longer. I'm just telling you, that was so much more pleasant without that without that use act that they used to put in those videos man i'm glad thank you milwaukee IA, for sending that over and it's uh you know chopped up a little bit if i wanted to add that cheesy music i would add it but i'm not gonna add it because that was so much more pleasant now i do have pictures that i'm gonna show you even though you've seen the video um but i have some information on right here this is going to be released april 2024 so I'll look for a link and I'll see if I can put it in the description below. It might be available for pre-order, but I don't think you can buy it right just yet. All right, so I'm not going to read everything to you because I don't want to stretch this video out for three hours, but I will get to the meat of it. Just to let you know, power-wise, they're claiming this is more powerful than a 60cc gas blower. So that's where you're looking. How much power does this have? That's where you're looking at, around the 60cc gas blower. When it comes to the power of this thing, 650 CFM at 155 miles per hour and 20.5 newtons of blowing force. Now, if there is one person That's out delicious. there on the That's YouTube delicious. community that loves That's his delicious. newtons, That's it's delicious. Vance over. Vegan That's cookies, delicious. good construction. That's delicious. He loves That's his delicious. vegan cookies That's and he delicious. loves his newtons. That's delicious. Now, where this is nice... A lot of people, if you ever use a gas blower, they're extremely loud. You're wearing a hearing protection, all that stuff. They're stating here on high, this thing has a level of 62 dBA. So very, just to give you an idea of how quiet this is, when you have to start wearing hearing protection in the workplace, you have to have a hearing con a conservation program. Is it 85 dB? When it is mandatory by OSHA that you have to wear hearing protection on the job site is 90 dB for a certain amount of time, right? 90 dB, you have to wear hearing protection. 62 dB, you are well underneath that safety, I guess, limit. So much, much quieter. And it also allows you to do your yard work later at night, earlier in the morning, and you're not necessarily, you know, pissing off your neighbors there you have it i swore in the video but i'm just being honest with you some of these neighbors they're crazy yo now it does have a brushless motor so 
you know, basically all of these things are going to have brushless motors nowadays. You don't want to be dealing with the brush. This ain't 1990. This ain't 2002. Now you're going to get a fully adjustable strap. So you're going to be able to put this on you and it's going to feel pretty comfortable. Uh, what about price wise? And we'll talk about the bat ray situation. But if you're looking at bare tool, that's really not that bad. If you're already in the M18 platform, I don't think that's that bad at $499. It's actually pretty good if you ask me. I was surprised. I thought this thing was going to be like six, seven hundred dollars tool only. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you think that's too high. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. But I'm just letting you know. I know comparing it to gas and all. $499 for battery powered leaf blower. I don't think it's that bad. And believe me, I would tell you if I thought it was too high because I get a lot of comments of people saying, well, you always complain about Milwaukee's tool prices. Well, you, don't you want me to? Do you want me to be like, that should be higher? It should be higher than this. It should be another $500. Sometimes your tools are very expensive. Sometimes a lot of brands' tools are very expensive. I don't think that is so bad at $499. However, the kit, you're looking at $1,500. What will you get with the kit, though? It's a rhetorical question. I'm actually looking. What will you get with the kit? Here you go. So a little bit more information down here uh, we'll look at, but you're gonna get in the kit four M18 high output 12.0 bat rays. Just to give you an idea, if you were to buy those by themselves, you're looking at $250, $249, but $1. You're looking at $1,000 if you were to buy four of those by itself. And if you, you were to buy the kit at $499, it's gonna bring you $1,499. There's really no savings from what I'm seeing, and that's kind of a bummer. I would have liked to have seen that maybe $13.99, being like, listen, if you buy the kit, you'll save about 100 bucks. But there's really no savings if you were to go out and buy these bat rates. And, and if anything, a lot of the times these go on sale for cheaper, you know, around, you know, President's Day or Fourth of July or Christmas or whatever. So you might actually be spending more money with the kit unless this thing were to go on sale. And I don't see that happening anytime soon because it's a newer tool. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? So I would have liked to have seen the kit a little cheaper, maybe, you know, $14.50, uh, you know, $13.99, something, just to say, hey, listen, if you buy this kit, you're going to end up with a better deal rather than buying the bare tool and then buying the bat rays by themselves. Now, where they took a little bit of heat when I showed that video was that it had four of the bat rays on the back. I get it. I understand what you're saying. However, you don't need all four of them to run. There's going to be two. I think this is going to be a 36 volt, right? Just like their lawnmower, two bat rays working at the same time. So it says right here, battery, four terminals required two. So it's going to run two. And then after those two drain down, then you're going to kick in the other two. And those are going to start draining down. By that time, if you're already in this platform, which a lot of people are, Take those other two out, charge them up, throw the other ones in the back if you can, and just go that route. And just to show you, yes, it does have, I believe, a variable speed trigger. Yep. You got a variable lock on. Yes. Uh, you have three mode selects. So a slow, medium, high, or low, medium, high. So three speeds. Now, if you're looking at weight, and this is where I like the M18s, you know, with four, of the M18s, the larger ones, you're looking at 32 pounds, 25 pounds with two of them. And that's where, you know, a lot of these other larger platforms with the 40 volts and the whatever volts that are larger battery is going to be more heavy. This is where the M18 is going to keep it a little bit lighter for you, even though you do have four. And there is an issue where people were stating that they thought it was crazy that it was taken for a race. But again, you don't have to have all four running. You can run two at a time. Now we do have some pictures and I'm not really sure what the runtime is on this. I'm not seeing it. I'll look again. If I do find it, I'll leave it in the description below. Um, I don't remember what the runtime is on this though. I'm guessing you're probably getting like, I don't even want to guess. I don't want to say too high and I don't want to say too low. You know, I'm just letting you know, you're going to get more runtime with the four in there instead of just, you know, two in there. So you're going to have more than enough power. If you're a professional landscaper, this thing is very powerful. I was surprised with how powerful it was. However, if you're not converted over from gas yet, you're looking at this thing and saying, I don't want it. And and I understand you. I got you. I hear you. However, some of you might not have a choice. And what I will say with the Milwaukee IA is that they are continuously coming out with outdoor power equipment and pretty good stuff. I don't always like their two bat rate platform, you know, 
Uh, this is four, but I get that. I understand why you would put four of them on this. You know, if you have the room, stick as many as you can in there and get as long run time as you can. You know, but with regular blowers and stuff, I'm not a big fan of the tube battery system and all that. Um, so I'll just put that out there. Not everything that they are doing am I saying to myself, oh my God, this is groundbreaking. However, some stuff I do think that they're doing a good job. And I think this is one of them. I think that they did a very good job on this. Uh, and I think you do have the one, two, three. Yeah, right here is your telling you how much power you have left in your bat rays. One, two, this is how much, and then down here is how much. And then it's a simple flip of the switch. You hit the button, it's gonna lower your speed, higher your speed, you got the variable speed trigger, and you got the lock right there. So we got to use this hands-on at the Equip Expo, and it worked very well from demonstration purposes. Out on the field, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but let me know what you think in that sweet, sweet comment section below. If you like this video, smash that like button, check out this video right here.